At the start of the episode, we see Pinkie Pie telling her praises about Rainbow Dash, and Twilight is calmly reading her book, only barely paying attention. When Rainbow Dash flies overhead, Pinkie calls out to her, and it becomes immediately apparent that Rainbow Dash doesn't want to be dealing with Pinkie. Within only the first minute of the episode, we see two different characters that show themselves less than interested in Pinkie's antics, which says a lot about what both Twilight and Rainbow Dash think about Pinkie this early on in the series. When Pinkie continues her antics on trying to track down Rainbow, we see Rainbow flying all over the place in order to avoid Pinkie, and I love all the little subtle humor in this scene. We have Pinkie jumping around in a manner very similar to Pepe Le Pew from the Looney Tunes shorts. And we also see Pinky continually popping out of nowhere in a style very similar to the Roadrunner, also from the Looney Tunes shorts. After Rainbow finally stops trying to run away from Pinky, we see her positioning a cloud above City Hall. And I like all the little facial expressions that Pinky comes up with here. When we see Spike collecting scrolls, I notice that he is humming the main theme song of the show. Once again, I thought Pinky was supposed to be the one that breaks the fourth wall. And now I've seen both Fluttershy and Spike humming the same theme song. After seeing the prank that Pinkie pulls on Spike, Rainbow actually shows some interest in spending time with Pinkie Pie, specifically stating, You're not as annoying as I thought. This is the first scene that shows Rainbow is actually willing to give Pinkie Pie a chance. Rainbow and Pinkie start pranking the rest of their friends, but we can easily see that it is all in good fun. But we notice a difference between them when Rainbow wants to prank Fluttershy. Pinky immediately puts a stop to it, saying that Fluttershy is very sensitive and that she doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So we can see that Pinky's attempts at pranking are only because she wants to spread joy, and not just from a desire to have a good laugh. This makes for a vast contrast when comparing her to Gilda. The introduction of Gilda is interesting because it makes me rather curious about her history with Rainbow Dash. All that we know is that they attended Junior Speedster's flight camp together, and have been friends ever since. I also found it a little puzzling when Pinky has shown all kinds of random knowledge throughout the series, but she didn't seem to know what a griffin was. Though Gilda does show some indifference towards Pinky at the start, we do see that she wants to spend time with Rainbow Dash, even to the point of singing the Junior Speedster's chant with her. The fact that Pinky was laughing about it afterwards makes me think that perhaps Gilda believed that Pinky was trying to make fun of her. Of course, we can easily see that Pinky wouldn't do that kind of thing intentionally, but it wouldn't be too hard to believe that Gilda could have seen it that way. And when Pinky keeps trying to take part in their flying later on, Gilda is quickly becoming annoyed at Pinky's antics. Gilda wants Rainbow Dash to forget about Pinkie Pie and just hang for a while. And seeing her reactions just makes me all the more curious as to why Gilda seems so upset with Pinky. Pinky starts to believe that Gilda is a bad influence. But when talking about it with Twilight and Spike, Twilight makes the suggestion that perhaps Pinky is feeling jealous about Rainbow spending all her time with Gilda. Even Spike seems to think that Pinky is green with envy, or at least pink with envy. And at first, Pinky is irritated that they don't believe her. But it shows some real maturity when Pinky is actually willing to consider that she might be wrong about Gilda. She seems willing to give the Griffin a second chance until Gilda starts causing trouble around town, even to the point of roaring at Fluttershy when all she did was bump into her. It is only after this point that Pinky believes that the situation calls for extreme measures. I can remember what I was thinking here back when I started watching this episode for the first time. And seeing all the pranks that were being pulled on Gilda, it seemed like such a predictable turn for the story. But I was actually a little surprised at how this turned out. When Gilda arrives at the party, it doesn't take long for her to show her frustration at all the ponies laughing at her. It seems to me that she takes offense from others very easily. But even aside from that, she is still being rather insensitive to Spike by bumping him out of the way. And to Rarity when taking the tail before she gets a chance. And when Gilda has reached her limit, she goes all out on Pinkie Pie, believing that Pinkie had set this party up only to humiliate her. And this actually brought a moment of surprise for me when Rainbow declares that she was the one who set up all the pranks. It would have been very easy for the writers to just create a situation where Pinkie had been setting up all these pranks and getting the exact same reaction out of Gilda. But it's nice to see that they actually threw in a very believable twist to the story that works rather well. 
and Pinky actually states that she didn't have any ill intent when setting up this party. She was only hoping to improve Gilda's attitude. So that says a lot about Pinky's character here. Despite knowing that Gilda was bullying the other residents in Ponyville, Pinky legitimately wanted to help Gilda to enjoy herself at the party in the hopes that she would genuinely appreciate what others had done for her. It is rather unfortunate that Gilda kept assuming the worst about everyone around her. But that raises some interesting questions about Gilda. Is it just part of her normal personality that she wants to push most everyone away? I get the sense that there is more going on here, as Gilda does want to be a friend to Rainbow Dash. The fact that she wanted Rainbow all to herself was a bit much, but I am still curious about their past. Was there ever a point where Gilda might have turned out more like Rainbow if she had been given the same opportunities? Or could Rainbow have ever turned out more like Gilda if she never had made any friends in Ponyville? I also started to notice a trend with Gilda's reactions. Seeing her take offense so quickly made me realize that Gilda is actually rather sensitive. Similar to how Fluttershy is. The difference between them is that Fluttershy reacts by drawing into herself when she feels threatened and Gilda seeks to fight back. But with both of these characters, we can see that they take what others say about them quite seriously. And in Gilda's case, she tends to assume the worst if there is any possibility of others making fun of her. I can see a lot of possibilities for stories here, both with Gilda's past and her future. Although having been absent from the show for nearly three seasons makes me wonder if she'll ever make a return. It could happen, but at this point it doesn't seem likely. Overall though, Griffin the Brush Off is quite enjoyable. Pinky's antics are rather fun. She shows some depth by considering the possibility of being wrong and the story came up with a bit of an unexpected twist that really worked to its advantage. It's nice to see that I can find more to enjoy about this episode each time I watch it. What are your thoughts about Griffin the Brush Off? Do you believe that there is any more potential to Gilda's character than what we have seen? Was there anything about this episode that you hadn't noticed before? I would like to hear your thoughts about Pinky, Rainbow, and Gilda, and here's to hoping that we can find more depth to these characters in the future. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.